Hey guys, welcome to Tech Intuits, your personal digital platform enhancing education. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already and press the bell icon and never stop learning. In this video, I will be speaking about the, uh, the conditional statements, its syntax and uh, I will also show you an example of it. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah, for this video, I'm going to use PyCharm editor. So let's open it. Just click on create new project. And, and, and then you can just click create or you can even uh, select the folder where you want to, you know, just want to make that project. Let's find this click create. Okay, after you open PyCharm, you can simply right click on this root folder and go to this new, then create a Python file. I have already created one, it's called condition statement.py. So, before going further, we need to know what is a condition statement. So, condition statement is nothing but we are trying to do some specific tasks under some specific conditions. I will give you the uh, you know the syntax of it this is just for understanding uh, so try to understand so the syntax is pretty easy I will write if then I will give a condition so if the if uh, you write if then you give a condition right and if this condition is met then I will perform a specific task uh, maybe a is equals to b plus c right and then i can actually write uh, else statement and then maybe i will print hello so what i am trying to do is if this condition satisfies uh, uh, i will calculate a is equals to b plus c if this condition is not satisfied then i will print hello that how it works very simple right so if you have any kind of understanding problem it's okay because i'm going to clarify everything with an example the example i chose for it is a is a program that will find out if a number is odd or even so before going to the program we need to know how to find a number which is odd or even so for that uh, if you have followed my previous video i have shown you an operator called modular division this symbol right what it does is uh, returns the remainder so in case of even number you must be knowing it that if a number is completely divisible by 2 it's an even number like if uh, 6 modular division by 2 so if like uh, 6 is completely divisible by 2 I can say that 6 is even number uh, is an even number so let's try that out if I you know I may store this in a variable maybe even and then print this variable uh, I mean print this even whatever is stored in this even will be printed over here let's try running it if it shows 0 that means it's a it's an even number right a run conditional statement so just click it and it shows me an it shows me a zero so that means that uh, six is an even number that's the condition right if a, if a number is divisible completely divisible by two then the number is an even number so let's take it to one step further i will accept a number from an user then i will i will use the conditional statements and find if the number is an odd number or an even number then I will print uh, the you know the result that the number is odd or even so for that I just need uh, need to take an uh, user input first and I have shown it how to take an user input in my previous videos also so if you haven't uh, you, if you don't know how to take it please watch my previous videos uh, you just need to declare a variable maybe 
I will take it as maybe just a number number and uh, I can take it as a float number or an integer number but for this case I will be taking an integer number maybe int and then the input statement right and I can tell something like um, please enter sorry enter uh, number so this line will be exactly printed in this shell so after that I will use the condition statement to check if the this number whatever number that will be given by the user is an odd number or an even number for that I will use if else statement watch carefully so I will say if this number is completely divisible by 2 so the condition for that is after dividing it the result should be is equals to 0 right so what I am trying to do is I am trying to calculate if after dividing this number by uh, by 2 if the result is 0 then I will print the number is an even number and then I will use an else statement and I need not write any condition over here because uh, the condition I used before is if a number is completely divisible by 2 so if I don't write anything over here that means that uh, it automatically implies that if the number is not completely divisible by 2 so I need not to give any statement over here you can write the same thing like uh, if uh, number after dividing by 2 is not is equals to 0 remember this sign stands for not is equals to right this one uh, so if a number is not uh, completely divisible by 2 then you can like print uh, the number is not an even number right or just you can write the number is an uh, odd number we can do this also oops well, okay so this will throw me an error because in in else statement there should not be any kind of condition because else statement is nothing but uh, the the complement of this condition so you can simply convert it to another if so if the number is divisible complete divisible by 2 uh, it will print this statement and if the com if the number is not completely divisible by 2 then uh, it will print this statement so let's uh, find it out let's run this and enter an even number 40 okay let's uh, try an odd number 45 maybe yeah it shows that number is an odd number right or one thing you uh, you can simply write an else statement so this state this line is equal to simply writing else right so we need not to give that big statement this should show me the same output if I type 45 again yeah it does so I need not write anything over here this simply implies that uh, the opposite statement so if I run it so it is asking for oh <laughs> I just give an extra e over here so let's just omit it um let's run it again there you go please enter a number maybe let's take a big number right maybe 480 okay now if I press enter this shows the number is an even number right so let's run it again and this time let's check an odd number Let's take a big odd number 650, 
333 maybe yeah so the number is an odd number so my program works fine cool uh, oh, and you can do one more thing you can even add more if statement inside it like I can use another one like L if it's an else if statement uh, over here I can like write L if the number if the number is, is equals to is equals to like I mean maybe 45 maybe I will uh, print something like bingo okay sorry uh, bingo uh, you own a jackpot okay um, though that's quite funny but uh, that's nothing related to any of this statement this is not at all uh, or even uh, kind of function over here but this is just for an example so let's try to understand it so if the number is completely divisible by 2 it will show me that the number is an even number if the number is not divisible by, by 2 completely divisible by 2 it will show me that the number is an odd number and in case someone types in 45 <laughs> then he will get two output uh, first of all it will show bingo you are uh, you own a jackpot over here that's quite funny though okay um, let's run it uh, please enter a number so I am intentionally giving 45 over here and let's see what happens okay so let's try running this block of code let me explain first what will happen first of all it will take an input from us with the help of this line then if it will check if the number is divisible by 2 and if the number is divisible by 2 it will give me an uh, output like the number is an even number then it will come to this line and check if the number is equal to 45 if it's 45 then it will print this line and then if both of these conditions are not satisfied then and then only it will come to this line this else statement and it will print that the number is not an even number the number is an odd number right one thing we need to understand that uh, in, 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 in conditional statements we can only execute uh, one block of code like if, if the condition satisfies it will perform all the operation inside this condition you can actually add a number of other con condition over here as much as you want not a problem at all so after that it will not execute the rest of the code it will simply print out the output and that uh, and it will end so let's try that out it should give me an output uh, if, I, if I type 45 it should give me an output like bingo you own a jackpot so let's try that let's enter 45 click enter and see bingo you own a jackpot now what if I want to uh, at first I want to find that if 45 is an odd number after that I want to print that bingo you own a jackpot so what I'm trying to say is I will uh, give an input which will be equal to 45 then uh, it will show me that the number is an odd number and then it will show me that bingo you own a jackpot so for that you can simply do this let me omit this line so for that you can use something called nested if else what is nested if else I can actually write as many if else I want in this code and even I can write if and else statement inside an if and else statement like in this else statement I can add another condition with an if statement see this if is nested inside this else statement right so here I can write like if the number is is equals to 45 then print uh, bingo you own a jackpot see I can write if else statements inside any if else statement 
I can add any uh, any number of if else statement inside this statement, right? So this block of code should first if I if I type in 45 should first print that the number is an odd number, then it should print that bingo you want a jackpot. Okay, simple enough. Let's try running it. So if I give like 45, as you can see that it first prints that the number is an odd number, then it prints bingo you want a jackpot. Right? It's simple. And one more thing that you must have noticed that while I, I, I am uh, writing any comment over here, I mean, uh, that will be directly printed uh, in your program. Uh, sometimes I am using this double quotation and sometimes I am using just a single quotation. In Python, it's not at all a problem. You can use any of them, right? Even you can omit these semicolons. In Python, these are not really needed. What it is, what's, what's important is that you give uh, these spaces in Python. These spaces are very important as this indicates the end of a line or end of a block of code. So that's all for today. Uh, these are the if else statement that can be used. It's really very easy if the concepts are clear. So I hope you like the video. Thank you. Hope that video helped you in developing your conception. Give it a like, press the bell icon and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.